Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is to show you something really special. This guy is your standard HO scale engine. This guy is your standard in scale engine. In scale, small. Remember the Z scale I was showing you? This is Z gauge. Look at that little tiny thing. That's Z gauge. You see the size difference? Z gauge, N gauge, HO scale. Now the reason I'm doing this video is to show you something. In this little box right here, this box is, let's see, two, four, six, this box is eight inches long, four and a quarter inches wide, and oh, two and a half inch thick. Okay, but what's going to happen when we open this, and I mind you, nobody else has seen this being opened. I haven't opened it yet. I just took it out of the car big cardboard box. And what we got here is... A complete train set in this box. This little thing here, okay, I don't know how well you can see that. This is T gauge, the world's smallest production train set. This box has a complete set of cars in it. Very small, very small. I don't know how well you can see them. They're very small. Matter of fact, oops, it just dropped out. I'm going to put the engine in the row here. Put this aside. Okay, my God. This is the engine. I don't know how well you can see this, but this guy will put it in a row. He's right there. That is T-gauge. That's the engine. Okay, so we'll put the little T-gauge guy here. That's T-gauge. And we'll put a couple of other little cars here. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is so tiny. Tinier than I expected. There's one of the cars. There's two of the cars. Here's a tanker, and here's a light coal car, and there's a little bit of coal, actual coal in the bag. It's actually a tiny little bag of coal and a tiny little metal weight, okay? So we're going to put these aside. Now that's the, the actual train set. Now what's in this little box? Here's the track. There's a complete set of tracks right here and these guys are so tiny let's get out a section of track here's a curve there's a curve look how tiny that puppy is there's a curve okay get a straight there's a straight now just to compare here's a pack of cigarettes okay look at that that's how tiny that track is. This is a pack of cigarettes. Okay? Very tiny. Let's put a tiny little piece of straight there. Okay? So that's the track. Put this one back in here. Now, mind you, this is all in this little box. It's got the wires, remote switches that automatically switch, a cleaner, electric uh, engine uh, wheel cleaner for the cars. Okay, also in this box, there's the little thing to align the train up on the track. Okay, there's also a wheel cleaning tool with oil. It's like an oiling tool. Put that back on there. And the largest thing in the box is going to be looks like 
the controller. This is the largest thing in the box, the controller. And believe it or not, it runs off of batteries. You can run it off of batteries or you could use a AC adapter. But anyway, this is the world's large, uh, smallest production train set. T-gauge. T-gauge, the T stands for three because there's literally three millimeters across the rails from, from rail to rail, side to side. Three little millimeters is all these track are between one rail and the other rail. Three millimeter. That's what the T gauge, the T and T gauge means. And the T gauge engines are, as you can see, they're magnetic. You can literally run these upside down with the engine on there. See the engine sticking there? I'm not holding the engine. I'm just holding the track. Let me stick it back on here and put it. A little better where you can see it. Okay, so there I'm turning the track upside down and you can see that engine's just sitting on there. And they say you can literally run this tra this engine on this track upside down. Just the engine, not the cars. But that's tiny T-gauge. Again, you thought Z-scale was small. There's the difference. This is Z-scale. That's Z. And this little guy is T. So we're going to give this a shot. I just wanted you to show the unboxing. I'm going to try to hold this engine where you can see it. Look at this. I'll try to put it in my hand. Let's get the phone over where you can really see it. Look at how tiny this puppy is. That's the engine. That's the engine. Look at that. Whoa. That's the engine. Here's the cars. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Okay, so there's the cars. There's the cars. That's tiny. It's very tiny. See that? This is the engine. That is very tiny. And there's a piece of track. And this little guy, that Z gauge that we thought was small, look at that Z gauge compared to that. So anyway, there you go. That's your first look at T gauge that I'm going to try out. Very tiny T gauge. This is Z gauge, which is small enough. And then, of course, you got N gauge, HL. Okay? So, you know, if I put my line L's there, they're, ooh, they're this big, you know, line L. But there's that tiny, tiny train set. Try to get just so you can see the engine and a couple of cars. Look at there. Look at that, how tiny that is. I'll put the cigarettes there to give you a good idea. There's a cigarette. Matter of fact, here's a, here's a cigarette butt. Here's a cigarette butt with the engine. Look at that. That is tiny, okay? All right, so anyway, there you go. You got to see it. It says T-gauge. As you can see, this is T-gauge, and it's the complete set. Remote control and everything in this little tiny box. All right, everybody. That's good enough for now. I'll talk to you later after I get it up and running. I'll show you a video.